Okay, I want to show you guys a couple things to put things into context. This is a book on legal fictions by Lon L. Fuller. And he says in the very front that he got this information from the Illinois Law Review, volume 25, from 1930 to 1931, NOS 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Now we go here. And this whole book is about legal fictions and what a legal fiction is. And basically legal is man's law and man's law is all fiction, completely fiction. And here's a book by a guy named LaRue called Constitutional Law as Fiction. After the preface, we go here and it says, that these fictions could not be eliminated without crippling the legal enterprise. Now, this is apparently a new form. It is a birth certificate form. I want to show you. It was a legal document. It's a fiction. It's for a fiction. You, it's man's law. And you go down. Uh, here's the form number. Revised 721 because the old one um, was just a couple pages. Father's legal name. Okay. And it should ask for the baby's legal name. Presumed father's legal name. Uh, mother's legal name. Your legal name, your fiction name, your fictional name to play in man's fictional system. To create a fiction for your baby. I don't know why they ask so many questions. But this is a legal document uh, created by a legal system, by legal people who in their fictional capacity give their baby, their newborn baby, a legal name. A legal document. Legal things are fictions. Now, LaRue, he wrote Constitutional Law as Fiction. A lot of his information I have read in other books that were printed before he printed this one. This one is from, let's see, 1995. Legal fictions, he got his information from 1930-31 and basically just reprinted it in 1967. And legal fictions have been around since the creation of man's law outside of the law of nature. Okay, so you got to think twice before you decide to get involved in man's law. Because man's law can be whatever they say they want it to be.